Hello everyone, Table Flip here, and I'm coming with a Motherload Mind Guide today. Um, I'm going to go over the basics as well as some efficiency tips, which I haven't seen many YouTubers highlight in their guides to Motherload Mine. So to start off, uh, Motherload Mine needs 30 mining, and um, you can come here pretty much whenever you want. Um, it's a lot more AFK than the traditional power mining or... Um, mining and banking your ores. So it's located in uh, just about right away when you walk into the valley mines. And you'll go south and there'll be an entrance right here. And you'll come in here and you'll see these ores. So these these ore veins will give you pay dirt. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to work your way into the center by rock mining these rock falls. And you'll Get all the way down into the center, where there's this hopper and this big um, contraption. I'm not sure what to call it. So here you're going to deposit your ore, but um, it'll only go down to this uh, ore sack if you have the wheels running. Um, you're going to have to repair these wheels with a hammer, um, which can be found right over here in this crate, this northern crate. So... Uh, Motherload Mine is probably 40k XP an hour at uh, max efficiency, um, but that is not right away, so um, it works its way up to be about, I would say, closing in on 500, maybe 600k GP an hour, so it makes up for... A lot of money that you couldn't be making when you're doing power mining. So I'm mining in this northwestern corner and a little bit more south of it in the western wall and I believe that is most likely the best spot. Um, it would be just about as good as using the north wall but uh, those two spots are definitely more efficient than using any of the other spots in here. Um, it's closest to the Hopper, which is actually going to speed up your inventories um, quite a bit. So, as you can see, I'm not actually using a full inventory. Um, I'm only getting 26 ores before I use uh, my ore on the hopper. This is because when you have uh, more than 26, um, you can use your ore on the hopper three times before you have to collect all your ore in bank. But if you have 26 or less, you can use it four times. Um, and that's going to save you, um, I wouldn't say too much time, but it does add up if you're going for 99 mining like I am. Uh, because you can uh, not need to run to the bank as often, you'll stay mining longer and get more ore. So uh, this is a gem bag that is bought through Golden Nuggets, which you can receive from this pay dirt. It costs about a hundred golden nuggets, I believe, and it's probably one of the better rewards you can get, as you can use it for pretty much anything from bossing to slayer to mining. So what it does is it holds 60 of each uncut ore, or uncut gem, sorry, up to dragonstone. So right now I have 15 sapphires, 6 emeralds, diamond, 4 rubies saved. That those would have just been dropped most likely if I wasn't carrying this, so it saves you some money. And uh, I'll eventually turn that into a lot of crafting XP, which will be nice. So, this uh, method of mining to 99 has a lot, a lot of advantage compared to the traditional power mining of iron or granite or sandstone or whatever you're trying to do. The main thing is that... Um, probably gets overlooked is that it's AFK. And it it's not super AFK, I know, but uh, you can do this while you're doing homework or watching a show and just maybe not even trying to pay attention to RuneScape that much. Uh, also, if you are actually paying attention to RuneScape, it's very easy to do Motherload Mine on an alt or even uh, just play on your alt while you're doing Motherload Mine on your main and bring in a lot of cash and a lot of XP for yourself while you're doing it. So, 
that's one of the main advantages. And then also, it's the money that you're bringing in instead of the uh, dropping of your ore. So making, um, you're getting 99 mining, sorry, will um, make you about 75 mil, I believe, if you're doing it here. I mean, it varies from person to person because uh, the ore you get is random. I could get anywhere from 104 coal here to 104 runite, which obviously won't happen, but um, it is all statistics. So what I'm doing here is I've just deposited my fourth inventory of ore. Now I'm going to run down here, and I collect it from the sack, and then I'm going to start my banking trip. So because I'm using um, 26, I'm going to have to bank four times. But what this coal bag here does is it will actually save me an entire banking trip. So this also is another little efficiency tip that adds up over time and um, saves you a lot of running back and forth. And um, it actually helps with you not having to use energy pots as often, which sometimes you do, or you can just walk. So um, instead of taking four trips, I only had to take three trips and I got all my ore out. Um, the coal bag is also another thing you can buy from the store. It's a uh, hundred gold nuggets as well. It's uh, very useful. It's not as useful as the gem bag. But um, another thing you can buy from Motherland Mine are the four pieces of Prospector. And together it costs I think 180 gold nuggets. Yep, 180. So when it's worn, it gives you about a 2.5% mining XP increase, so it's going to save a lot of your time on your way to whatever level you're going, whether it be 60 for Lunar Diplomacy, 85 for the new Achievement Diaries, or all the way to 99. Um, now I'm going to get back to the topic of uh, another reason why it's better than power mining. And uh, that's because um, I've been able to play on an alt the entire time I've been uh, mining. And because of that, I've gotten this nice cape right over here. And all of this was done, well, not all of it, a lot of it was done just from when I was playing and doing motherload mine on my main. So I was bringing in probably 1.5 million hour because I was being able to do motherload instead of granite. Uh, that definitely helped my bank because my brother and I are rebuilding. Um, you can see that in a different video. But um, yeah, this has been my guide. I hope it's going to help you get more, more money while you're mining and just maybe not hate yourself for power mining granite. But uh, good luck, guys, and happy mining.